Hello again, everyone, and thank you for joining us again for this week's Gospel Talk. Uh, this week, we will be taking another Gospel from the Gospel of Mark as we celebrate the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, this is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day and through it all the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, and then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed, that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants, and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The parable of the mustard seed is one we probably remember from the earliest times of our lives going to church. Kind of reminds me a little bit from my childhood of the little engine that could. Jesus makes a point of saying that even the smallest can become the greatest. As we go through our lives, our lives change. We start out as children with the faith and trust that God says we need in order to get into heaven. Life has not beaten us down. We haven't been disappointed or hurt in most cases when we're little children. We're not afraid to be vulnerable we trust that those that love us will take care of us and we will be okay. And as we age, we're no longer that small, but that smallness that we exhibit as children, the smallness of fear gradually starts to grow as we experience life and disappointment, sadness, hurt and pain. And just like a mustard seed, we grow into our adulthood. And along with that growth, we're able to do things that we were not able to do as children. We're taller, we're stronger, we're wiser. There may come a time where we are creating, creating tremendous value in the world by what we do for a living, by how we care for those we love, by how we help those that are in need. And then as we age, our physical, abil physical abilities get less and less. And often we may feel that we can't be as demonstrative in our actions as we were when we were young and strong, we may begin to feel that we are no longer as great and we can accomplish much, much less than we did before. But this gospel itself says that is not true because with our age comes our wisdom. And while we may not be as strong physically, we certainly are stronger emotionally and intellectually. 
So God, with this parable of the mustard seed, Jesus is telling us that even when we feel the smallest, we can still accomplish the greatest. Even if we're physically small or physically weak, there is so much more we can do in word, in action, intelligence and wisdom that have the same type of impact in a positive way to those we love, to those around us, to the world in general. Each one of us was created differently. Each one of us has gifts that the other does not. And it is a tremendous gift when we recognize the gifts that we do have. And once we do recognize them, we have a choice. We have a choice to do nothing with them or we have a choice to do much with them. That is our free will. And if we take a time and remember the gospel from last week, the gospel from last week talked about knowing right from wrong, listening to what our Holy Spirit tells us from within our hearts. If we listen to what that Spirit tells us, we will use the gifts we have. We will be good conduits of God's love, not only to those we love, but to those in the world that may not even love us. Here is our challenge for the day. Identify what our gifts are. Use them in the best way we possibly can. Touch as many lives and hearts as we can each and every day. Open our hearts to be vulnerable and allow the Spirit to come in. And let that Spirit flow through us as conduits of a loving and forgiving God. And by doing so, let us bring joy, peace, love, wherever we go. I thank you for listening to this gospel talk this week. This is the time of the year, the 11th Sunday in Ordinary Time, where we are in ordinary time, not in the Easter season, and well before the Lent, uh, sorry, not Lent, well before Christmas season, where we celebrate Advent. Listen hard to these Gospels during this period of time. Try to find where they fit in your lives. And make that difference that separates you from everyone else. My name is John Herbert. I'm the Director of Pastoral Care and Mission Integration here at Franciscan Villa. We welcome you to tune in every week before you worship wherever you do. And I hope you tell your friends about us. We welcome all. Have a blessed weekend. Take care and thanks for watching.